350 to 701 score exam questions are newly updated to help you pass the implementing and operating Cisco Security Core Technologies score exam. 1. In which form of attack is alternate encoding, such as hexadecimal representation, most often observed? A. Smurf B. Distributed denial of service C. Cross-site scripting D. Rootkit exploit Answer. C. Two. Which flaw does an attacker leverage when exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities? A. User input validation in a web page or web application. B. Linux and Windows operating systems. C. Database. D. Web page images. Answer. A. 3. Which two prevention techniques are used to mitigate SQL injection attacks? Choose two. A. Check integer, float, or Boolean string parameters to ensure accurate values. B. Use prepared statements and parameterized queries. C. Secure the connection between the web and the app tier. D. Write SQL code instead of using object relational mapping libraries. E. Block SQL code execution in the web application database login. Answer. A. B. 4. Which two endpoint measures are used to minimize the chances of falling victim to phishing and social engineering attacks? Choose 2. A. Patch for cross-site scripting. B. Perform backups to the private cloud. C. Protect against input validation and character escapes in the endpoint. D. Install a spam and virus email filter. E. Protect systems with an up-to-date anti-malware program. Answer. D. E. 5. Which two mechanisms are used to control phishing attacks? Choose 2. A. Enable browser alerts for fraudulent websites. B. Define security group memberships. C. Revoke expired CRL of the websites. D. Use anti-spyware software. E. Implement email filtering techniques. Answer. A. E. 6. Which two behavioral patterns characterize a ping of death attack? Choose 2. A. The attack is fragmented into groups of 16 octets before transmission. B. The attack is fragmented into groups of 8 octets before transmission. C. Short synchronized bursts of traffic are used to disrupt TCP connections. D. Malformed packets are used to crash systems. E. Publicly accessible DNS servers are typically used to execute the attack. Answer. B. D. 7. Which two preventive measures are used to control cross-site scripting? Choose 2. A. Enable client-side scripts on a per-domain basis. B. Incorporate contextual output encoding, escaping. C. Disable cookie inspection in the HTML inspection engine. D. Run untrusted HTML input through an HTML sanitization engine. E. 
same site cookie attribute should not be used. Answer A B 8. What is the difference between deceptive phishing and spear phishing? A. Deceptive phishing is an attack aimed at a specific user in the organization who holds a C-level role. B. A spear phishing campaign is aimed at a specific person versus a group of people. C. Spear phishing is when the attack is aimed at the C-level executives of an organization. D. Deceptive phishing hijacks and manipulates the DNS server of the victim and redirects the user to a false web page. Answer. B. 9. Which attack is commonly associated with C and C++ programming languages? A. Cross-site scripting B. Water holing C. DDoS D. Buffer overflow Answer. D. 10. What is a language format designed to exchange threat intelligence that can be transported over the taxi protocol? A. Sticks B. XMPP C. PX Grid D. SMTP Answer. A. 